In 1913, one of the most ingenious men to ever walk the face of the earth, aka Nikola Tesla, filed a patent for a steam turbine that he claimed had a 97% turbine efficiency. This turbine was really different from any other turbine designed up until that point, because in its construction, it had no blades. At first look, a turbine with no blades seems like a car with no tires, and that's because in a conventional turbine, what makes the rotor spin is the pushing force that the fluid impinges on the angular blade. But in the case of the Tesla turbine, the mechanism mechanism of rotation is completely different. The Tesla turbine uses its viscosity to drag a rotor comprised of several thin discs. Discs? Yeah, discs. Simple circles with a very small thickness by forcing the fluid to flow in a spiral that drags the discs in a circular motion. In this way, the rotor and fluid work in the same plane, so there's no abrupt changes on the path of the flow, something that doesn't happen in actual turbines, where the fluid and blades work in perpendicular planes, 